This video will describe the initial configuration procedure for the CT4 channel tagger. In the CT4 operation mode, the CT4 injects proprietary dual CW carrier tags with either 156.25 or 625 hertz spacing between the carriers in the aeronautical frequency 136 to 139 megahertz and or near the LTE frequency 610.5 to 615 megahertz bands. Each frequency band can be independently enabled which provides the ability to monitor both bands simultaneously or each one individually. When using a CEA channel lineup, it is recommended by Trilithic that the two pairs of leakage carriers be injected into the system at 138 MHz and 612 MHz, which is the guard band between qualms or analog carriers based on which type of channel resides at each frequency. If you are not using a CEA channel lineup, the two carriers should be injected in the guard band between qualms or analog carriers based on which type of channel resides at each frequency. It is important to note that the CT4 will be injecting carriers into the system 30 dB down from the total average power of the adjacent qualm carrier. In order to ensure you set up a good relationship between the injected carriers and the qualm channels, be sure you make these measurements from a common test point to both carriers. In other words, you should be measuring the power of the QAM channels and the levels of the CT4 carriers at the same location. Perform the following steps to properly set up the CT4 operation mode. Connect a spectrum analyzer to the test port of the combiner that the plant RF and the CT4 output are connected to. Navigating to the CT4 setup menu is a simple two-button navigation and is used throughout the CT4 setup steps. As you look at the menu structure, you simply press the select button to progress through the main menu or press enter to browse through the individual settings in the submenu of the topic of choice. Once you have navigated to and entered into the CT4 setup submenu, to make changes to the default settings, press enter on the setting of choice. By doing this, the selection will flash indicating change mode. At this point, press the select button to toggle through the alternate settings. Once you reach the appropriate setting, press enter to accept the change. Notice the selection is no longer flashing. From there, press select to step through the remaining main menu items you wish to verify or change. Simply repeat this process for each step to make all the necessary changes to the CT4 setup. From the front panel of the CT4, navigate to the CT4 setup menu. From this menu, navigate to the CT4 device menu. From this menu, enable the device by selecting the on option. The CT4 device on setting refers to the overall activation of the CT4 feature of the device and does not actually turn on the carrier outputs of the CT4. In this step, select on if you want to turn the low band carrier on. In this step, the low band frequency defaults to 138 MHz. If this is not the desired low band carrier frequency, use the same method described earlier to make the necessary changes. In this step, select on if you want to turn the high band carrier on. In this step, the high band frequency defaults to 612 MHz. If this is not the desired high band carrier frequency, use the same method described earlier to make the necessary changes. The CT4 tag menu gives you the ability to select between two different tag settings. Remember that the tag setting selected here needs to match the tag setting programmed into the Seeker D meter. The low res view, which is short for low resolution view, refers to the act of spreading out or temporarily 
separating the dual carriers to 25 kilohertz so that an analyzer with a resolution bandwidth of 10 kilohertz can accurately measure the output level of the injected carriers from the CT4. In most cases, you will turn this feature on for the duration of the CT4 setup. This is the most critical step in setting up the CT4 carriers in relation to the adjacent qualm channels. Always begin this process with the 612 MHz carrier to set the overall output level of the CT4. The 138 MHz carrier can then be adjusted using the low band offset. With a QAM analyzer, measure the total average power of the adjacent QAM carriers, noting the level and the MER of each. These two channels are likely to be channels 88 and 89. Although the levels between these two channels will be similar, use the lower of the two to set up the 30 dB down relationship. For example, if the total average power of the QAM is plus 3 dBmV, then minus 30 dB or 30 dB down gives you a target CT4 carrier at that same test point of minus 27 dBmV. Let me stress that again at the same test point. Simply measure the peak value of one of the CT4 carriers and adjust the output so the level measured at the test point is minus 27 dBmV. With half dB step adjustments on the output of the CT4, you can typically set this relationship to within a couple tenths of a dB to the target level. At this stage, both sets of carriers at 612 MHz and 138 MHz are set at the same level. Due to tilt or other factors, the level of the carriers at 138 MHz may need adjusted. Follow the same procedure to determine the target level, 30 dB down from an adjacent QAM channel, then use the low band offset to adjust the level of the 138 MHz carriers independent of the carriers at 612 MHz. The low band offset is a means of applying a tilt value to the CT4 output. For example, if the target level is minus 25 dBmV and the carrier measures minus 23 dBmV, then you would enter a minus 2 dB for the low band offset. Navigate to the low res view menu and select the off option to enable normal operation. Once the previous steps are completed, the CT4 tags will be enabled and properly functioning. The signal displays and settings shown in this section are for reference only and performance may vary based on manufacturer or model of analyzer. The screen shown in this section represent the view of a typical spectrum analyzer with a minimum resolution bandwidth of 10 kHz. Trilithic recommends the use of a spectrum analyzer with a minimum resolution bandwidth of 30 Hz for the initial setup of the CT4. However, a typical spectrum analyzer can be used for the setup as shown. When the low resolution mode of the CT4 is turned off, a 156.25 or 625 Hz spacing is used between the carriers which will not allow you to distinguish between each peak of the CT4 carrier as shown in the image. When the low resolution mode of the CT4 is turned on, a 25 kilohertz spacing is used between the carriers. This will allow you to distinguish between each peak of the CT4 carriers as shown in the image. This is an acceptable spectrum analyzer view for the initial setup and provides the minimum accuracy needed for CT4 carrier level measurement. If you are using a spectrum analyzer with 30 Hz or better resolution bandwidth, the low resolution mode of the CT4 can be turned off. The image represents the display of an analyzer with the following recommended settings. Resolution bandwidth of 30 Hz, video bandwidth of 30 Hz, frequency span of 5 kilohertz.